As curtains fell on the Kenya Certificate for Primary Education Examinations, KCP, all over the country, 17 candidates at Tanya Integrated Center were putting their last ink on their final exam. Uh, they have done their last paper, and from my observation is that they were relaxed. They were, uh, at least they had hope. From afar, the young girls and boys look just like any other kids, but a closer look reveals something totally different. This is a home that takes care of different categories of children. We have the mentally challenged, the hearing impaired, the physically challenged, then girls less tuned from early marriage and FGM. And then the last group are children who are here. They may not have any handicapping condition, but they are here because they are orphans. Some of the children at the center were rescued and others referred to the center by the government at a very tender age. And for many years now, other than knowing Tanya Rehabilitation Center as their only home and their fellow children as their only family, this is also the place where they can get quality education. We did most of the revision. We went through supplementary books and we also went through past papers. In a bid to integrate the children, those with special needs are put on normal classrooms with all other children having to learn the sign language. This has seen the ones with hearing impairment lead a near normal life. Integration is the philosophy that I actually came up when I worked for the government of Kenya. And I wanted to tell them really you can integrate the children, the handicapped children with the other children. Nobody wanted to listen to me at that time. But uh, I came, uh, you know, with a philosophy. I trained it here. It's working. This is the eighth class to do their KCP at the center. Despite being gifted differently, many have managed to reach university level, giving the younger children hope for a better tomorrow. Our first class eight that graduated from this center are now in their second year at the university. We have four of them who have been able to go up to that level who are in different universities in, in the country. And to mark the special milestone in their lives, the candidates planted 18 trees at the school compound that were donated by Projector Solutions. Florence Ndongo, GBS News.